So in our first free to play episode, we prioritized building and laboratory upgrades and finished out with five ways to speed up home village progress. Now, can we all agree that the only thing that most Clash of Clans players care about is their home villages, right? You want to max it out. That's normally the goal. And you want to have high level troops to go into clan war with. And you want to try to replicate the things that you see on YouTube. Now, we're all looking for different ways to try to speed up that progress for free. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. It's been four days on our new Town Hall 11 base and we've completed multiple things. New 25 wall pieces are all level 11 and I've started level 12. Warden is going to level 7 and all buildings are built with the Eagle Artillery under construction so I can get a new base layout. All of this progress can be contributed to completing the Ram Rider event for the free Rune of Gold and completing 5,000 points in clan games to unlock the additional reward for that. Also, the Barbarian upgrade finished and the Archer was started, but I'm going to speed up the laboratory here in a few moments and also on the builder base we have started the upgrade on the level 8 mega tesla which leads us into our topic today playing the clan capital will help your home village so let me explain what happened my fiance fabi started playing clash of clans recently she's like a town hall nine now here's the thing about fabi she does not like the pressure of clan war she does not like being watched she likes to kind of be casual about it she likes to go on her base and work on upgrades but knowing that she has as a full-time Clash of Clans YouTuber in the house, she will come ask my opinion on certain purchases and things that she should do to try to level up a little bit faster, right? So I went on her account and I went into the trader looking for raid medals to buy some magic items to try to speed up her lab because she gets super frustrated with how long it takes for things to upgrade. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> I know, I know. Looking at her raid medals, she didn't have any, so I went to her clan capital, she's in a completely different clan, and I realized that the clan was not doing raid weekend which made me think to myself how many clans out there are not even participating in clan capital or doing it because all they see is a bunch of villages that they have to upgrade that does not contribute to their home villages so does this sound like something that's happening in your clan right now i mean it's understandable there's a lot of clan leaders out there that just don't know so we're not going to go into full breakdown on what clan capital is we're just going to talk about that raid weekend and how it benefits all of your clan mates home villages each weekend an icon will populate on your clan capital a leader can choose to start a raid all clan members above town hall six should have five attacks for the entire weekend all they have to do is try to three star a district to unlock a bonus attack and your clan tries to clear as many enemy clan capitals as possible as a solo player on one account this normally takes me about 15 to 20 minutes if that each building destroyed by a player collects capital gold which can be used to upgrade stuff on your clan's district to include troop buildings and spell buildings to increase the army's strength. But on the following Monday, each player will be rewarded raid medals based on your clan's average offense and defense. Now, this mode is not intended to be competitive by any means. It's mostly a casual thing. So how does doing raid weekend and raid medals actually help your home villages? Well, first things first, we do have an active raid weekend live right now. That's what the number five, meaning five attacks above that blimp or the airship means. Because if you don't get notified by your clan, leader you'll just see that populate and then you'll figure it out for yourself so don't forget to do those if you're interested in getting more raid medals now first things first clan castle requests how many times have you requested clan castle troops from your clan mates and it sits there for like 16 hours to three days later and nobody fills it you don't have high level players in the clan you can't get high level troops raid medals so select the option for reinforcements and you can buy your own clan castle troops but that's not really just the biggest thing here that you can take note of let's go ahead and clear this thing out a little bit remember that at town hall 11 we only have the option for four different super troops super barbarian super archer sneaky goblin and super wall breaker well you can purchase super troops that you can't even get at this level in the rocket loon inferno dragon super wizard super minions super bowlers i mean these are great options that are very viable in today's game right so you can do this you can get some uh super wizards and then you can hit confirm and you can buy those for 30 raid medals that's number one that's amazing but that's not forget about our trader so if we jump into the trader you notice by now or at least i hope you notice by now that's been reworked it's got a new ui and you have the option for 
spending gems plus the free one for the uh, Clash Miss deals right now. We're going to go ahead and claim that. Yeah. <laughs> but then you also have the tab for raid metal. <laughs> when we scroll through raid metals, we have the option for resources first and foremost. I mean, think about this. If you're working a job or you're super busy with university studies and you don't have time to sit there and activate a training potion and spend hours raiding for resources, you can just come in here and buy some resources and get your builders back down. That's amazing. But then also when we scroll through and you'll notice that there's training potions and clock tower potions and then the research potion. This is definitely one of the ones that I buy the most of because I want to speed up my lab uh, laboratory progress as fast as possible. So I'm just going to buy three. And the best part about this is, is that there is a timer. You see uh, three days, 12 hours and 33 minutes up there. That means that next Tuesday, this is going to recycle. So right now we're sold out on the research potions and then next week it'll start all over again i can buy more so you can buy up to like 12 potions a month for free as long as you have raid metals and then i go down here and then i'm gonna drop all of these research potions into my laboratory yes i know that there's a day and 13 hours remaining on that archer but we have the resources available to go right back in here after the archer is done and do another upgrade immediately whether it's the wall breaker or the baby dragon like i mentioned in the last video and as i've mentioned many times in the past there is a sixth builder in clash of clans for free if you do the build Builder base. I know, builder base. But if you click on the auto hut and you have these tasks that you need to complete, one of the most toughest ones would be leveling up the battle machine to level 30, which seems to take forever if you're just doing three attacks a day. You can go back over to the home village, jump in that trader, use some ray battles to buy either builder gold or builder elixir to help those upgrades. Yes, it's super, super helpful. So make sure you let your clan leaders know if they are unaware and beg them to start that raid weekend today.